Hello YouTube, this is Alpha Computing and this is a first look at Microsoft Office 2010. This is the complete suite, the beta version. Uh, I did not get the developer preview, but I was not invited into that. Uh, so, here we go. This is complete first look, I haven't used them that much, I did start them up, have a look a bit. And I've not yet read many blogs about it, so this is all a personal opinion. In the coming videos for the products, I will be giving a full complete review and comparison to the Word 2000, to the Office 2007 suite, as you see I have up here. So, this is what you get with the beta version of 2010. Uh, download link is in the sidebar. This is only valid until whenever it is valid. So if you're watching the video like a year, a few months from now, you probably that link will probably be useless, or I would have removed it. So let's jump in. Let's jump right in here. So open up Word, and here it is. Now it's white. I like the previous one, which is blue, but you should be able to change. Yep, you can, blue. Yep, so there we go, it looks just like the other one. It's sort of the Vista Windows 7 thing, so it's 2007 version 2, basically. It's not, mu not much of an upgrade from 2007, it's a leap from 2003. And keep the ribbon, that's the ribbon up there. And uh, everything looks the same. Ah, now this is the file menu up here. It all folds out. It instead of keeping to that one bit up here, you get it all spread out, you get options pop out. That will probably change. Now everything I say now is only valid until the next versions or final release of 2010. This is still the first beta version that has come out. So we get information. Manage versions. Mm -hmm, that's versions of your drafts and whatnot. Help, support and all of that. Now in text which is what this thing's main use is what I've noticed is you faded out word art and you got all this so yeah so that's word don't forget complete in-depth videos are following up this is Excel 2010 uh, not much of a different. Um, can't remember if Excel 2007 had the ribbon. And yes, it did have the ribbon. See, it has the ribbon. Uh, so yeah. File get everything pop up out there. So still do your sums and whatnot. Equals C. 2 plus C3. Yep. Is that right? Oops, C3 plus C3. So you still get all of that. Yep. And everything else you can do with Word, with uh, Excel, I mean. Formulas. So all that is basically the same. Again, this is the sort of. Windows 7, Vista to Windows 7 upgrade, you don't get much interface work, it's more under the hood. So it could be a bit faster, you might get a few extra uh, tools here and there, like Outlook here, which I've not yet set up, which has social features, that connects to Facebook and whatnot. I won't show you that yet, I have not set Outlook up. Skip it on to PowerPoint. And here it is. We get all your objects, your ribbon again. Uh, file pops out, which I'm not really that much of a fan of. Don't really like that at all. So we can, ah, this is a useful thing. Your transitions, you get straight tab right there, and you get much fancier transitions, which look much more 21st century, much more fade. 
and whatever. The old, the old transitions just look very chop, choppy and just straight to it. So yeah, this looks good. That's a cool one. Glitter. There. Lines. So yeah, all, all cool. So that's one of the small upgrades you get. Better transitions and more up to date with our world today. And what things are supposed to look like. Publisher. Now this did not have the ribbon. So we, this is the thing that lets you make cards and business uh, brochures or brochures, whatever you like to call them. And again with ribbon up top, which a lot of people aren't very big fans of. So you get word art, which is changed through the versions. Huh, now this, this, okay, yeah, I'll go more in depth with that in follow up videos. SharePoint Workspace, never really used this. I've, I've only got the sort of basic version of Office, as you see here, I only ever use Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The rest are just useless to me. And this is another thing, you can actually move this around, which I don't think you could do before, and minimize and close. Now, in case you might have opened it accidentally, you can close it straight away. And I have to set up a account for this, so that will be in full up videos. Infopath Designer. Now, these ones won't be in full up videos, by the way, because I don't find them very useful. There. So, one note. Uh, I'm not sure if now this one doesn't have a ribbon. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, that has a ribbon. And uh, this is basically your university note taker. Um, better for this is sort of university, college sort of thing. Uh, teachers could use it. Businesses, maybe. I'm not sure what it could. How you know, useful it could be in businesses. So that's one note. What? Uh, yeah. Office access, never really got the hang of that, so basically these are completely useless. These are the apps I'm going to be looking at more in depth in follow up videos, and these are the ones I shall be comparing to others. Getting rid of those. So, click on one of the links popping up on your screen right now. Well, at least there should be. And watch the more in-depth video. Now, if you've watched this video before they are out, do not worry. Subscribe and you should get them as they come through. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate 5 or 2 or 3 or 4, even 1. And if you can't be bothered, just don't rate at all. Just leave a comment or subscribe. So, thanks for watching. Alpha, signing off.